Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to manage users and groups in the Ubuntu Unity desktop. Some of you who are familiar with the older desktop may remember that it came with some utilities to configure users and groups. The new Ubuntu desktop, Unity, uh, only has a simple application to configure users. So in this video I'm going to show you first how that application works uh, and I'm going to add a user uh, using the current uh, installed system tool. And then I'm going to show you how to install an application that will allow you to manage users and groups uh, the way you used to be able to on the GNOME desktop. So let's begin by showing you the current um, uh, user management application. Uh, you can get at that a couple of different ways. Uh, one way is to simply click up here uh, to users and go to user accounts. That will load the application. Uh, another way you can get to that is to load the dashboard home. Uh, do a search. Search for user. Uh, and you'll see the application uh, user accounts here. Uh, loads the uh, uh, exact same application uh, as the first method. You can pick whichever method you like uh, and that application will load. Now that the application is loaded, uh, you can see that this is a fairly simple, um, a fairly simple application, uh, and it's easy and straightforward to add a user. Uh, first of all, you need to click the Unlock button. Uh, that will allow you to make changes. Uh, authentication is required, so enter your password. And now you'll be able to add a user by clicking the plus sign down at the bottom. Uh, you'll get the create new account prompt. There are only two kinds of uh, users that you can create using this tool. A standard user and a user with administrator privileges. I'll go ahead and create a standard user. Um, I'm going to enter a full name. Uh, note that it uh, creates a username for you. You can accept that or change that to something else if you like. Go ahead and click create uh, and that user is created. Now notice that actually uh, on creation uh, the account is disabled by default so you need to enable the account uh, to do that uh, go over here where it says account disabled and click it and you'll get a password box. You can assign a new password. It will tell you whether it's a good password or not. Um, I'm not too concerned about it for this demonstration so I'm picking a short easy one. Uh, and once those uh, are entered and they match uh, go ahead and click change uh, and you'll find that the account is now enabled. Uh, but notice that you really don't have any other control over this account as to what um, uh, what's going on. Um, different kinds of accesses, uh, group membership, uh, you may or may not know anything about groups but that's a, a kind of a standard tool. Uh, in Linux you can create a group, give the group certain privileges uh, and then users inherit the privileges of the group that you've created. So it is handy to be able to create groups if you need to do a little bit more uh, sophisticated management of these accounts. Uh, so in order to do that you're going to have to install the old style uh, user management application. So I'm going to close this box and we're going to need to install this at the terminal. Uh, so I'm going to uh, open up the dashboard home again. I'm going to search for terminal. Uh, we see that there's a terminal application here so I'm going to click that and that will open up a command line window. Uh, and in order to install this tool uh, enter the following sudo sudo apt-get apt-get uh, then install uh, and then what we want to install is GNOME system tools that's g-n-o-m-e dash system s-y-s-t-e-m uh, another dash and then tools t-o-o-l-s you're going to need to confirm your password enter your password it doesn't echo here uh, just go ahead and type it in uh, and press enter Uh, it'll create a list of packages and things that it's going to install. Uh, note down at the bottom of this terminal window screen it says do you want to continue, yes or no. Uh, of course I'm going to type in Y for yes and continue. Uh, now this installation is going to take a few minutes. I will pause the recording and come back when it's done. 
Now once the process returns to the command line, uh, as you can see down at the bottom, process is completed and we'll return to a command prompt. Uh, just go ahead and close out the terminal window. You can come up here and click the red X. That's really all that's necessary. Now then, let's go back and take a look at the dash home. Uh, we'll key in users again, key in user, uh, and note that now in addition to the user accounts, that's the application we used before, uh, we have a new application, users and groups, and this is the old GNOME uh, tool uh, that will allow you a little bit more sophisticated approach to creating users uh, and also allow you to manage groups. So we're going to go ahead and fire this up. Now you can see the primary user that I had before. This is my pseudo uh, administrative user uh, that I called user1. Uh, here's the account we just entered uh, using the uh, current system tool, John Doe. Uh, let's take a look at advanced settings. Uh, and of course, uh, to do that, we need, because this is an administrator uh, task, we need to authenticate with our password. So I'll click authenticate. We see a, a new screen here. Uh, first of all, we note that we can add some contact information. Uh, if we take a look at user privileges, uh, we can see that um, uh, there actually are quite a few things that we could allow this user to do uh, or not do. Um, and you can take a look at these. Uh, you can add any of these or, or modify these privileges as you like. And then if we look at the advanced tab, uh, you'll see that we have uh, some system administration information. Um, you know, this is something you may, if you if you are a little bit more advanced in system administration, uh, either want to change, uh, modify, or just take note of. Uh, but you do have that ability with this user tool. Uh, I'm going to click OK. Uh, to create a new user, it's simple enough. Um, it's, it's fairly similar to the, the process we used with the first tool. Uh, I'm just going to click Add. Uh, it's going to create a new user. I'm going to type in Jane Rowe. Uh, as before, it starts to create a username. Uh, you can accept that or change that if you like. Uh, note the restrictions on the username down there. Uh, click OK. Uh, and then you're going to get to a password box. You can either set the password by hand or generate a random password. I'm going to type in a simple password here. Uh, confirm that. And I'm going to click OK. Uh, and now the new, the new user is created. Uh, if I need to, I can go back to the advanced settings. Uh, again, uh, this is the Linux system information that you may um, want to know about. Uh, user privileges, uh, the kinds of things that the user can do, uh, and contact information. Uh, and so you can see that gives you a little bit more, a um, few more options uh, when you create a user. Uh, the other thing this screen does is it allows you to manage groups. I'm not going to go into a discussion of groups here. There are plenty of resources on the web that can explain Unix groups, uh, Linux groups. Uh, but this tool does allow you uh, to uh, configure and manage them. Uh, so if we were to take a look here, um, these are the groups that are currently available on the system. Uh, and as we go down here, uh, scroll down, let me kind of scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, you can see that um, uh, we, it, we created a group for user one. We can take a look at the properties of that group. Properties of that group are the group name is user one. Uh, we can add user one to it. Uh, we could also add one of these other users to it. We can also create a new group. So if I click on here, add, uh, I might create a, a group named dev. Uh, and I might assign uh, that group certain privileges, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and create that group, and I'm going to add, say, user1 and Jane Rowe to that group. Uh, individual users can be members of multiple groups, uh, and groups can have multiple members. So I'm going to click OK, and now I've created that new group. We'll go back up here and take a look at it. Dev is the group we just created. I'm going to take a look at the properties. Uh, and we can see that Jane Rowe um, uh, and uh, user1 are added to that group. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Close. Uh, and that's a brief introduction to the group um, uh, Manage Group application. Uh, when you're done, uh, you can close this off. That concludes our demonstration. Uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I hope you experiment around and have fun. Thank you.